In this video, I'm going to show you the best 3D modeling programs for game dev. Autodesk 3ds Max is a super powerful tool for 3D modeling. It is the second most commonly used program in big companies like AAA. Its main advantage over other programs is that it has a super powerful modifier stack. This means that your 3D models can be much simpler and you can have the modifiers effects do the work for you. The standard cost is quite expensive at $1,500 a year, but there's a cheaper indie version of the software available if you make less than $100,000 a year and you are the only 3D modeler on your team using it. There's also a free educational version that you can use to learn the software, but you can't make any money off of it. Autodesk makes another 3D modeling program called Maya, which is the most popular 3D modeling program in AAA game dev. Its main advantage over similar software is that it's really good at rigging and animation, which is why a lot of AAA companies use it, because their animators and riggers like it. But it doesn't have any modifiers, so a lot of modelers don't like it as much. It costs the same amount as 3ds Max and has the same indie version and educational versions available. Next is Blender, which is free and open source, which makes it popular with indie game devs. Despite being free, it's generally accepted to be just as powerful as the other software, but it has some pipeline weaknesses for stuff like making huge movies on huge teams. However, for indie game dev, it's excellent. Like 3ds Max, it has modifiers, although they're not as powerful. Other than just being free, its main advantage over similar software is that it has a powerful set of keyboard shortcuts allowing you to work faster, and it also has decent tools for other parts of the 3D pipeline, such as sculpting and texturing, which allows you to stay in one program. Moto isn't as commonly used in game dev, but it's known for being simpler to work in than other programs, and it's still quite powerful. It's cheaper than the Autodesk software, and it also has an indie version on Steam for even cheaper. Cinema 4D is easy to learn, although it's also not very commonly used in game dev. It's commonly used in small film and advertisements. It's mostly meant for motion graphics. Houdini is the fancy one here. It's used for procedural modeling and VFX. You model things by creating node systems. It's awesome for creating effects like fire and explosions or creating terrain. Its procedural systems are great for creating many different variations of a model. For example, you can create one style of building and then have it make many different variations randomly of those automatically so that you can make a whole city. It's a lot harder to learn than the other software here and for creating standard models it's harder to work with, but for certain things it makes it a lot easier and faster, like those procedural buildings. So it's excellent for a second program. It has an indie version that's not too expensive. As for recommendations, if you're planning on working for a big AAA company, I suggest you learn Maya, probably the educational version. If you want to make and sell indie games, I suggest you use Blender since it's free for commercial use as well as being quite powerful and having a lot of tutorials thanks to its big community. The money that you save on that can be used towards powerful add-ons or other software that specialize for certain tasks like texturing or sculpting. If you're okay with spending a little money, you might want to use Moto Indie on Steam because it has a super streamlined interface and easy to use tools that makes it quite fast to work in. After you learn one of those programs, I suggest that you learn Houdini as well. It has a free Apprentice edition and a not that expensive indie edition after you learned it. Since it's so useful for creating effects and landscapes and procedural models like those buildings, that will allow you to create lots of different variations. You can also create procedural systems inside your game engine so that you can create things like a path that pipes will automatically follow with the right types of joints so that you don't have to manually place each of those pipe joints in the right spot in your level. It's also a great software for getting a job as it's in super high demand compared to the amount of people that are actually good at using it. So I definitely recommend Houdini as well. 
let me know in the comments below what 3D software you guys like to use. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see more videos like this, as well as tutorials in Blender if that's what you want to use.